here I've got the Seiko Sarb 065 cocktail time. And when you've got this watch on, it is always cocktail time. Actually, for me, it's always cocktail time. So what am I saying? I like this watch a lot. And I think pretty much everybody who's gotten their hands on one, they also like it a lot. This is the Japan JDM version. And uh, I think spec-wise, it's a little bit higher end than the... Uh, presage line you see here that was released in the US so you know the SRPB 41 and 43 and it's and it's ilk a watch that I think on day one I got compliments from strangers on and it's easy to tell why I mean this dial is truly beautiful Impressions, I'll go over some dimensions. Uh, it is a 40 millimeter watch. Lug to lug is, from my measure measurements, 46, maybe just under 47 millimeters. The lug width is a very, very easy to find straps for 20 millimeters. And the width, let me measure this off camera really quickly me including the crystal thirteen millimeters breast watch through and through and I love it here is a uh, Seiko 6R15 as opposed to a uh, I believe it's a 4R36 in the Presage line here in the United States. So the movement in here is a little bit higher end. It is hacking and hand winding. And when I first got my hands on this, I believe I'd only had uh, experience hand winding uh, at a movements. And I was surprised at how smooth this movement winds. So let me see if you can hear it. twist of the fingertips is enough to get it to wind. It is super smooth. Sunburst dial here, I believe takes seven layers of lacquer to get this effect and it is totally worth it. I do wish the dial though had some loom. There isn't any loom on here uh, and a bit of Seiko's proprietary Lumabrite would have been awesome, but you know, this is a dress watch and loom probably isn't necessary, but it would have been nice. You know, it's not like people who work in an office don't like going into dark rooms. I don't really have a lot of complaints about this watch. It has, it's actually one of my most accurate watches. So with this uh, 6R15 movement, I'm getting, I think, plus 2.8 seconds a day, which I think is the second most accurate watch in my collection other than my Hamilton khaki field with the uh, new Hamilton, I believe it's an H10 movement, but don't quote me on that. And that's running at about a second and a half fast a day. What I would have hoped for, and I get that this is a dress watch, so the fully polished look uh, fits that aesthetic, but I would have hoped for some brushing or at least a little bit more interest on the side of the case. I I find it a little boring, but uh, it works, and I think at this price point, you're not really going to find much better. The crown is signed, and uh, I I do wish it came with a with a sapphire crystal. And I know there are there are a lot of people who say, well, you can't really expect a sapphire at this price point. And I get that hard Lex has a little bit more shatter resistance. It's less hard than a sapphire, but in 2018, sapphire on a $400, $500 watch is very, very doable and probably wouldn't add too much to the cost. So I, I think Seiko is just looking for ways to differentiate uh, its uh, watches in this price range versus its Grand Seikos, and I think that's not the way to go about it. 
But the benefit of hard lex is that I find it actually is clearer. So you get less reflection. And I don't know if this is an anti-reflective crystal and I don't know if it needs any AR coating because as you can see, it is very clear. With the dome shape, works very well. You get a little bit of distortion at the edges and that kind of fits in with the somewhat retro vibe that this watch has. A great watch if you're considering this or an SRPB 43 in the US market, uh, which is the Presage version here, uh, I would say go for it. I've heard really good things about the 4R36 and I actually have an SRPB 41 on the way and I hope to do a review on that soon and I'll do a comparison between the Sarb 065 and the uh, SRPB 41. In the meantime, I will enjoy this guy. Sorry, no loom shots for this one. I mean, it makes sense. There's no loom, so you're just going to be looking at a dark room. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.